<laughs> Quite a day, huh, Sammy? Oh, it's a horrible day. Another politician couldn't be here tonight, but he sent his messages also. It says, the city of Indianapolis hereby gratefully acknowledges the outstanding services of Sammy Terry, whose contribution toward the betterment of the community has been conspicuously demonstrated in the role of ghoul extraordinaire, Richard G. Luger, mayor. Oh, I'll frame this and hang it beside the governor's proclamation at the graveyard gate. That'll be real nice. We have plenty of guests who are going to be here tonight, Sammy. I wonder who the next one will be. Just in time to find out who it's going to be. Nobody. Our next guest, Sammy, you might know pretty well. He's had a lot to say about you in the past, Sam. And he's going to have a lot to say about you in the future, too. Here's a few hints. He's good for circulation. He's got a poison pen in a mailbag. Can you think of who he is? It's a vampire's heart with a steak stuck in it. No, no, no. In fact, here he comes now. R.K. Skull! How are you? You're looking terrible. It's so good to see you out of makeup tonight, Sammy. <laughs> oh, thank you. I couldn't miss being here. You know, of everything that's on the air in Indianapolis, without a doubt, this is the most horrible show of all. That is one of the nicest things you have ever said. My flesh crawls when I think about this show. <laughs> Wonderful. I think it should. In fact, I think you've been watching it. You've lost a little on top and got a little curls along the side. Like Phyllis Miller's nerve ends. Well, we do these things as best as we are able. You understand? I think it's wonderful. And I'm so glad you could be here for my party. Well, I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it, Sam. And I tell you, one of the, one of the real shocks this evening when I discovered, I, I, all these years, I did not believe you were real. I've always thought that it was really Sarkis Tarzian in disguise. And you can't imagine how, what a pleasure it was to find that you're the real thing. Oh, thank you. Me and Coke. Yes. <laughs> I think I've had all my stomach can stand now. Well, I hope that you will have many more times to write those acid columns. Oh, yes, and I'll be back. I'm a masochist at heart. Wonderful. <laughs> That's something, isn't it, Sammy? One of your bitter enemies. A man for cultural television here in your own dungeon. And he's so good with a knife. He likes to stick it in people's backs. <laughs> we'll stick to a little more later, but right now, it's part two of The Ghost of Frankenstein. <laughs> 